So most of us end up looking like this. <laughs> oh yeah, moments like this. But did you guys know that um, only 50% of teens report sleeping eight and a half hours on weekdays, according to the article of Teen Sleep by National Sleep Foundation? Um, in relation to health relations, not getting enough sleep impacts the body. Um, it impacts your lack of alertness, your impaired memory, according to mental.com, um, your quality of life, and increases your chance of a car accident, according to um, drowsydriving.org, and it gives you longer term effects like high blood pressure, diabetes, and increases your chance to heart failure. And then going back to the, um, to the impaired memory part, um, to mindful.com, mindful all nighters, they, um, you retain, retain less information and your facts won't make much sense when you read and study all night because you need to sleep on the information. And it um, gives you a better chance of being in a really bad mood and really crabby. Um, you'll probably feel like a little crazy if you do this for a long time because sleep um, deprivation can also cause short-term euphoria. You know, things like that, right? Where you're like just really happy and energetic and then just that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and then you increase your development for insomnia. Um, like the NPR likes to say, our brain is like a washing machine and our brain has what well, I to refer to it. References, reference it as brain food. Um, getting a good night rest is very vital to your body because the flow of serial serial spinal fluid it increases it. when sleeping the brain increases dramatically the flow of it and that's um, it washes away harmful waste proteins that build up in your brain cells um, and while sleeping your brain shrinks and it makes it easier for the serial spinal fluid to flow through the brain and then according to the Web and D are brains like the bank. Um, the amount of sleep a person needs increases if they are sleep deprived or haven't gotten that much rest in the past couple days. Because you, um, that creates like a sleep debt. And it's the same as overdrawing from a bank, kind of. Because your body will ask to, your, for your body to repay that sleep that you haven't gotten as like a debt they have to repay. And with this said, um, sleep decks that were says that one can like, store up sleep and use it for later. It's not. It's like a bank, but not really because you can't really use it like that. And you can't expect to overdraw and not expect a penalty. It's not really possible to make up sleep on the weekend because that's the sleep you need for the next day. So once you create a debt, you can't really get out of it. Um, the sleep org also states that not getting enough sleep increases obesity and gain weight. And weight gain because you're more likely to crave fatty foods at the end of the night. And then, uh, Going back to the National Sleep Foundation, there's given some tips on how to have healthy sleep habits, or like to say, a sleep good hygiene. If you sleep to, a, if you stick to a sleeping schedule, um, it'll help you regulate your body's clock and help you fall asleep, and then uh, it'll help you stay asleep for the whole night. And even do it on weekends because your body will get used to it and it'll have like a clock already, a natural body clock. Um, if you practice your regular bedtime rituals, so stay away from uh, bright screens for your eyes um, because your body, like, it knows when to be awake when there's bright lights. But if you um, are away from that during the night and you lay in bed, then your body will know this is some time to relax, like, to calm down. And then um, keep your phone away from your bed because that takes away the brightness of your phone. And patient to grab, to patient to grab it. And then uh, it'll just train your whole body to train your whole body to not sleep at that time, and uh, stay away from power naps. Like power naps sound really great, and uh, yeah, they sound really great, and they will probably give you like a little energy, but throughout the night it won't help you stay awake for the whole night because you're used to it. And then they recommend to do exercise daily. So that would help, and then evaluate your sleep. Like, do you have any distractions? Like any noise? They recommend earplugs or what are those called? They have like masks. Yeah, masks, night like, night masks, and then you can also listen to music to help um, to relax yourself more. And uh, um, evaluate where you sleep. Whatever said that. Um, sleep where you're really comfortable. So beds, 
just wear your comfortable blankets, pillows, whatever you need. And then, uh, so just following these tips will help you just uh, follow where you need to sleep more. And then instead of having to like camp, I'm just say, wait, <laughs> um, I'm like, that's it.